had three cars that we built and then we won this yellow electric truck that we then did some work on. A twice total 1985 Ford Escort was the first car that we converted. Then with the Geo Metro, which you'll see later today. And then uh, this was the third car. You just get a sense of pride. To be a part of something that changed so many people's lives, it's really rewarding, and this is just kind of reminding me of all that. Yeah, how do we When Henry Ford designed his first engine in his backyard, he probably wasn't thinking about the environment the way we are now. It's time to design a vehicle with a completely different kind of engine, one that emits far less pollution, or even none. So if EVs are so great, why aren't more people driving them? One answer is education. We've got to inform people about how practical and fun these vehicles are. That's where the EV Challenge comes in. It's been 30 years since that first year when Harold and Eric led that group of students. A fellow named Randy Schillenberg approached me and asked the question, do you know anybody who might be interested in competing in a competition among electric cars? I was on a tennis court and bouncing the ball getting ready to serve. And John Parker says, uh, you've been running your mouth, Miller, about building an electric car for a long time. He says, well, look, I've been talking to Randy Schillenberg He's got a program, Virginia Power. It's gonna take two counties, Northampton and, and Halifax. Uh, we're gonna to have to have a cross-curriculum activity. I said, what in the world? You mean to tell me we're gonna put physics and mechanics together like it should have been a long time ago? He said, yes. So he said, I said, who you got in physics? He said, this guy named Eric Ryan. I was a science teacher and it was hard to attract a science teacher to a more rural community here in the state. Teach for America places teachers in inner city and rural schools around the country where they have teacher shortages. Got selected to, to come to, to Northampton East and started teaching in 1992. Not just California, but I was from Berkeley. So <laughs> to move from Berkeley and then in the San Francisco Bay Area of about at the time, probably five or six million people to Northampton County, which had maybe four stoplights, about 25,000 people. There were more people at my school, my college, than there were in Northampton County overall. Moving from a fast-paced urban area to a rural community would be potentially a recipe for disaster, but I just, I just loved it. The auto shop teacher here, Harold Miller, came knocking on my door and I had had interruptions, you know, for, for you know, like the last 10 minutes. I was like, okay, come on in. And he blows in and says, Mr. Ryan. I said, yes. And the students all kind of look over there and I say, uh, yeah, yeah, Harold. And he says, uh, we're going to be building an electric car. Come see me after class. I told the kids that uh, we're in a process. We're going to have to take a gas car and convert it into electric. There are rules and regulations. We're going to race it at the Richmond International Way and we're going to win. And that's how we got started. Well, I was in the first period of class, so I was one of the first ones to know. It was after a w long weekend, we came back, and um, I know we were all in class, and it was more of a curiosity thing than doubting it. We wanted to know what type of electric car, you know, what was going to be the specifications on it and stuff like that. You know, was it going to be like a car powered by like little batteries, car batteries? We wanted to know more about it. When he first introduced it, nobody could believe it was going to happen out here at this high school. People told Miller that it would never happen or anything. The high school student's central activity is the research, design, and construction of a street-legal electric vehicle. In the process, the students remove the internal combustion parts of a gasoline vehicle and then rebuild it with electric vehicle components such as batteries, an electric motor, a controller, and a battery charger. So Ryan talked about it because he knew I was in auto mechanics and he's like, hey Katrina, I have this great opportunity for you and I think you would be perfect for this. He sold it as a great opportunity. If you look here, you're going to I was sort of like the executive water. director in a way and Harold was the program director in a sense. We use the word field for magnetic field, okay? Not out here growing grass or something. 
Harold will have, you know, 10 ideas, nine of which are just awful. But that 10th one, you take it and run because it's a real winner. And so it was my job to sort of discern which of those 10 was a good idea and laugh at the other nine with him or at him or whatever. When we put both physics classes and the mechanics classes together, he would cover some stuff, I would cover some theory, I would take some batteries uh, and spark them a little bit, let it got your attention. If you got somebody I thought they was gonna go to sleep, walk over and hit that thing once. God almighty knows what happened. <laughs> All right, do it again. This time hold it tight. If you talk to any kid, most of them like hands-on learning. If they get to do it with their hands and they see it in their mind, they can remember that. Other people learn by reading a book. So when you marry them together, the guy gets to uh, read it. You got a guy who's done it a couple times and they start working together. Pretty soon it becomes a very slick machine and they can build most anything they want to. I remember being in there building, the, you know, measuring and actually building the battery box for the, the first shocker we built. I look forward to every Monday, you know. It's almost like now, you know, when you're working, you're looking forward to the weekend. So then, you know, I look forward to, you know, to get through the week and get back to Monday so that we could go there and, and you know. I enjoyed actually getting in there working. Things that were way above my pay grade, such as electrical circuitry, they were very keen on showing us the process even if it takes more time, so we could do it. Both really took pride in seeing their students succeed. Okay, so go ahead and hit it. I had a real strong environmental ethic as a science teacher, so the idea of building and getting their hands on an electric car and trying to do something better for the world in that way, it just helps to grease the wheels for something better. In front of the class, when you had a gesture like this, I would stand up here and we'd do physics problems and teach the kids and we'd write stuff here. It wasn't on a laptop. <laughs> Learned about electric cars and how they work. They taught me how to change a tire. <laughs> I, I barely kept gas in my car. I didn't know how to change a tire into an electric car, nothing. We would go after school, work on the car, the auto mechanics classes, we'd work on the car, car during the day. I would go in there and a the motor would be hanging from some chains, you know, and you, it was just got to be a very normal thing, and we all really just got along. The very first competition we had was called the EV Grand Prix at Richmond International Raceway. There was a lot of skepticism. We were always going to be the underdog. We were always from small Northampton County. We were always, you know, the most financially challenged as, as far as going up against all of these technical teams who had all of this money thrown at them. We have historically not done as well as other school systems on tests. We don't have as much money. Um, our facilities are sometimes more outdated than others. But when you feel that you can do something really well, What's going to happen? You're going to do something really well. I've taught at North Carolina School of Science and Math for two years. I taught in Virginia Beach. I've taught all over. There are no better young people than there are in Northampton County. But in terms of the competitive side, it was a bit intimidating. It's like a Disney movie, like underdog. If you want to say the classic storyline of a Disney movie, we were it. Nobody expected that we would do well. Did you? Did you seriously think you could win from the beginning? I had no doubt I would. None at all.